guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to make handwriting fun. Now this video is in a collaboration that's hosted by Megan from Pennies and Salt. And the collaboration is about making learning fun, which sounds amazing because if you're gonna have to learn something, I do think it helps for it to be enjoyable. When I sat down to plan for this video, I was talking to my husband about, you know, how could you make handwriting fun? And he said, Handwriting's not fun. A lot of people don't think handwriting's fun. Like when I think of a list of things that are fun, handwriting's not on there. When I taught kindergarten, the kids weren't really into it. So I did have to make it fun because I do think it's necessary. I do think you need to know how to write your letters correctly and how to write neatly. So it's important and it's something that we want our kids to learn. But how can we make it more enjoyable? I know a lot of people out there are like, you know, some things you just have to do. And I get that. I know we have to do it. But I don't see anything wrong with making it a little more enjoyable. So we're going to talk about some things that I did in my classroom with my younger kids when I taught kindergarten and some things to do with your older kids because my son is 12. So we'll talk about a little bit of both and really this could probably be used with any of them, but I'm going to start with some things that I did with my younger kids, my five-year-olds when I taught kindergarten to make handwriting fun. But before we get into that, make sure you go check out Megan's channel. Also check out the other videos that are in the playlist so that you can get a bunch of ideas for how to make learning fun. So let's jump into that. You wanna know, how can you make handwriting a little more enjoyable? So for those little kids, I have a couple of hands-on things that maybe you haven't used yet. So let me show you. So the first thing I'm gonna share with you are these things from the Dollar Tree. So always go to the Dollar Tree and check out the little teaching tree area. These are actually glitter letters. They're raised and you can feel that. So for your tactile learners, and you want those younger kids to be able to feel the shape of the letter. This is raised glitter. The glitter doesn't come off on your hands, but you can feel this and they can follow the shape of the letters. And I mean, it was for a buck. I mean, you can't beat that. Can't beat that. And little kids love stuff like this. You could even make this yourself at home with some glitter glue, but something as simple as this is a great way to start out with your pre-handwriting. So I wanted to share that. The next thing I have, I got this from Bullseye's Playground. So I don't know if they have it all the time. This was like the beginning of the year. Last year, year before, I don't know. Anyway, you get these cards that show you the formation of the letters. They have one on the front, one on the back. They also had numbers. And then you get, this is kind of gooey feeling. You get this stuff. I don't know what you call it. I call it like floof. I don't know. And your child will take this and they can use this paper and they can form the letter. And then they can take their fingers and trace that letter. So adding neat little sensory things like this are a fun way to practice handwriting. So you may want to check out, I mean, Lakeshore may sell something like this, or there may be something on Amazon. I'll try to see if I can find something similar to this and link it, but this was in Bullseye's Playground. So it had letter and number cards, which I thought was super neat. All right, and then another thing I found at Target, and I know these have been around a while. When I taught, they didn't have these. And so I actually made these using a pencil box and some sand and a pencil. But um, beginning of the school year, they had these sand trays. And so I just took my sand and put it in a baggie because I don't leave this out all the time with my co-op kids that I work with now. So I put my sand in a baggie, but you just pour your sand into here. It comes with all of these alphabet cards. And so you stick your card in the holder and then the kids write the letter in the sand, and then all you have to do is shake the tray to flatten the sand back out again. My co-op kiddos that I work with, they're four, five, and six, they love these sand trays. But like I said, you could make one of these at home with a pencil box. The other thing I recommend for the younger group, and I found this in the Bullseye's Playground too. I'm telling you, you've gotta check out the Target Bullseye's Playground at the beginning of the school year because these are awesome. So this is called alphabet construction and it's plastic pieces so they can build letters and numbers. It comes with cards and then the pieces look like this. And when I was teaching my kiddos how to write, we would talk about straight letters and curves. 
And so they just, um, these snap together and you can make all the different letters. So these are so much fun. And then your kids can trace them and things like that. Now a couple of things I don't have but are super easy to do with those younger kids is to take them outside, give them some water and a paintbrush and they can practice writing their letters or their name or whatever it is out on your driveway or sidewalk. And the other easy thing to do is to put gel, like hair gel, in a baggie, close it up really good, and let your kids write the letters with a Q-tip on the gel. And that's a really neat sensory and fun activity also. For that age group, we used an app called Letter School. So if your kids do like tech and you let them use it for educational purposes, Letter School is so much fun. Um, my kids really enjoyed using Letter School. I think you can get part of it for free and then there is a paid portion, you know, to get all of it, but it teaches the kids how to write the letters. Of course, they're using their finger, but I bought them all um, just a small stylus. I got a whole pack of them from Amazon, so they all had their own stylus, so they could at least get the grip of the pencil. Sometimes I would let them do it with their finger, but then I'd also give them the stylus too, so that they could trace on the app as well. So if your kids like that, um, let them practice handwriting on an app as well, and I will um, write the name of that in the description so you'll know what I'm talking about. So, let's talk about the older kids, the kids that are past writing in sand trays and painting out on the sidewalk, like my son who sees no point in learning cursive or practicing his handwriting. So for those older kids, even upper elementary, they don't want to do things like that. That They are past that and they don't want to do things like that. You could try it with them. They may enjoy it. I don't know. So the first thing that I know that works with almost any age group is to add some novelty to whatever it is that you're doing. So one of the things that worked in my classroom and also works with my son is to add fun writing utensils. Put highlighters over there. Let your kids use fun pens that they wouldn't normally do their schoolwork with. Or maybe use your pens that are special that you don't want anybody else to touch. Adding novelty to anything makes it so much more fun. So anytime I would go to Disney World, I would pick up the little fun um, character pens because those are always so much fun and I'm a little obsessed with them. And then you can also find fun stuff in the Bullseye's Playground or Target Dollar Spot during the holidays. That's where I found uh, these 4th of July ones. I mean, who wouldn't want to ride with this? That is so fun. My kids loved these. And if you put these out, this is from Great Wolf Lodge, they wanted to use them because that's something they didn't get to use all the time. So anytime you're out and about at the Dollar Tree, I know I got this at the Dollar Tree, and then this was for Dr. Seuss. Anytime you are out and about, especially at holidays, or you can check at the Dollar Tree anytime, finding those novelty pins they're gonna make a difference. The kids are gonna to wanna to use those. So I definitely recommend you getting some neat ink pens or get some special paper. Paper that's a different color or let them write on a dry erase board or practice on the window. I'm looking at my window right now. Practice writing on the window with a dry erase marker. Just changing up what they're writing on or what they're writing with makes a huge difference. Now, if you don't wanna do that, or if you're like, okay, we'll add fun pens, but what are we gonna to use to write? It's always fun if you can take your kid's interest and combine it with something they have to do. So when we first started homeschooling, my son loved Minecraft, and they had this at Barnes & Noble, handwriting for Minecrafters cursive. I'm sure they have it in print, and I'm pretty sure at this point in our life, they have handwriting themed to just about anything. And if you can't find it on Amazon, you can probably find it somewhere on the internet. So if your kid likes horses or princesses or Minecraft, I can pretty much bet somewhere out there, there's some handwriting practice that is themed to that. You could probably even create your own handwriting worksheet and add some clip art. I've done that too. I made Fortnite handwriting last year where I just typed up a sentence about Fortnite in cursive and he had to copy it and it had Fortnite clip art on it. You can do things like that and it makes your kids so happy. So like this is um, themed toward Minecraft, but it is teaching him uppercase and lowercase. It's as simple as that. Find something they like. Really simple. Didn't have to pay very much for it. The other thing, and I'm going to put a picture of it 
The other thing that I did was for on Teachers Pay Teachers, there was a pack you could buy where you could practice your cursive by learning a joke or a gross fact. And he enjoyed that. He loved telling jokes. And so that was fun for him to be able to copy a joke in cursive. It taught him another joke. He was getting his cursive practice in. I think that's awesome. And he was also able to copy gross facts. I mean, why kids don't like gross facts, right? So I'll put the link to both of those. Those are from Teachers Pay Teachers, but that's a fun way to help those older kiddos who don't really want just your generic cursive book, but you want them to practice. That's an excellent way to do it. Let me check my notes, make sure I didn't forget anything. Oh, I did find an app for cursive um, and I got my son to try it out last week and he was totally okay with it. And like I said, he's not 12. I just said I have a 12 year old. I don't I have a 13 year old. He's had a birthday. Um, it's called Cursive Writing Wizard, and it's a free app, and it will help them learn how to write cursive on their tablet. So, definitely check that out. So, I think that's all. Those are some ways to make handwriting fun. I know we have to do it. We have to teach our kids this, so let's make it fun. If you want more ideas for how to make learning fun, check out the playlist that Megan has put together. You're going to find so many ideas. If you like homeschooling content, if you're interested in Gather Around Homeschool, Campfire Curriculums, or teaching those older children, then definitely hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for watching.